horrific gas explosion in Kentucky, and it was deadly. Flames shooting 300 feet into the air. It was all part of a massive gas pipeline stretching some 9,000 miles. The blast so powerful, families were running for cover. Homes destroyed, the siding melting hundreds of yards away. Today, you could see the giant hole at that blast site, nothing but scorched earth all around. Those homes wiped out. At least one woman was killed, several others injured. And ABC's Alex Perez leads us off from the scene in Kentucky tonight. It looks like the gas station exploded. Residents jolted awake just before 1.30 a.m. by an explosion and a loud roar. The 30-inch high-pressure pipeline exploding, sending a massive fireball 300 feet in the air. Our windows were shaking really bad, and our doors, the ground, you can hear the ground just moving and, and tumbling and rolling. Residents said it was like an atomic bomb. It was just whipping around. It looked like a tornado, like a fire tornado. Some suffering burns as they ran for their lives. It, it was so hot, I don't I don't see how we got out of there. Daylight revealing a massive blast zone. At least five homes wiped from the map. And here up close, you can see the power of those flames, the heat of that fire, the land here completely charred. In the distance there, look at those cars destroyed, melted. It looked like daytime. I mean, you could literally see everything at 1.30 in the morning. Man, it's crazy. The 9,000-mile pipeline carries natural gas from the Gulf of Mexico to the northeast. Authorities say a 58-year-old woman was killed. Officials believe she was trying to reach her neighbors but was overtaken by the heat. Several people were reported missing, but all are accounted for tonight. After being at the scene, walking through, um, frankly, that is, that is surprising. This could have been much, much worse. Just extraordinary images. Alex Perez joins us live from where that pipeline exploded. And Alex, still no word on what caused this. Yeah, David, the exact cause of all this remains a mystery. You can see all of that charred debris still behind me here. The NTSB will be sending a team of three investigators who will be working to pinpoint what exactly triggered all this. David? Alex Perez leading us off tonight. Alex, thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.